Let's say that you want to record some audio. This is the interface of Soundtrack as you initialize it. So if we wanted to record some audio off of the microphone in our sound space, we'd need to first of all make sure that the M-Audio Fast Track Ultra 8R is turned on by pushing the power on the far right-hand side of that console, that it is connected to the back of the computer via USB cable, and that we have Soundtrack open. So then what we would want to do is we would go to File, New, Audio File. We would want to make sure that it's a mono file, not a stereo file, but it's actually a mono file. Sampling at 48 kilohertz. We click OK. And now you'll see that we have a blank waveform. There's nothing there. And if we go over to our upper right section, you'll see there's two tabs. One that says meters, one that says recording. If we click the recording tab, we want to make sure that the input selected is the M-Audio Fast Track Ultra 8R. In this case, the microphone is off behind me to the right in the sound recording space, but you'll see that that microphone is picking up my voice. You see the levels moving right here. Then to record our audio, we would simply go over and we would get our person in position. We would do some mic check by adjusting the input one on the M audio. It's probably going to need to be potted up pretty close to all the way to get levels but you might need to adjust it to get your levels close to where you want it. And then you would go and simply press record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press record, and I'm going to walk over to that microphone, and then you'll be able to hear me do a mic check on that, and we'll record that mic check. Then I push stop, and that is my waveform. So if we go back, we can play. This is a mic check. And that is our audio. So now that we've recorded the sound, we can go ahead and save it as if it was its own file. We can do trimming. We can do whatever it is that we want to do with that file. To do multi-track editing, we basically do the same thing. We go over, in this case, I'm going to close this project. And you'll see this is the multi-track interface. We pick the track that we want to record to. So select ARM for recording or push that R button. You'll see it turns red. If we go over to recording, you'll see this is actually going to be a stereo recording. If I want it to simply be a mono, I can assign both channel 1 to the first and the second channel. And then all I have to do is simply press record. I'm going to do the same thing and walk over there and record my voice. and I can push stop recording and there is the track multi-track mic check go back to meters and I can see my meters instead of my recording and that is how we record in the sound space